Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be making a magnesium adjustment on the 300 gallon reef, which if you're new to the channel, is it actually includes these two low boys and this 115 gallon grow out tub. Now again, if you're new, check out the uh, 300 gallon playlist or the fish room playlist. You'll be able to see all those tanks in more detail. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's about that time. Usually every six weeks I try to come in here and adjust my magnesium, even though I am using media that states that it has high magnesium. And I even have magnesium chips. <laughs> it's still not happening. So either way, well, it probably is to a certain extent, but then again, it's probably not enough. So uh, yeah, let's check out the Trident real quick. I did recalibrate the Trident about a week ago when I uh, when I changed out the, uh, the whatever the hell they are. Anyways, when I when I switched out the reagents, it uh, I recalibrated it. Blah, 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 blah. Go ahead and spit that out, Travis. Anyway, as you can see, my uh, alkalinity is pretty decent at eight. Um, 321 calcium, which is definitely low. But as you can see, my magnesium is also really low. I try to stay between uh, 1350 and 1450, and uh, yeah, 1250 is not uh, <laughs> not acceptable. Uh, the only reason why I haven't made the adjustment before is because I or earlier is because I wanted to make a video on it just to give you guys a little idea of what I do here in the fish room. So even with the magnesium chips, I'm still not getting the uh, the magnesium I need from them. So we're gonna be using this Bulk Reef Supply magnesium one gallon mix. I mean, it's pretty easy to uh, set up. Um, I'm not gonna show the whole thing. Um, I will, you know, we'll pour it in and make some adjustment. But I mean, if you can read, you can figure this shit out. So anyway, uh, I like to do this every six weeks or so. It seems to be, yeah, about four to six weeks I have to come in here and put about a gallon into the setup. But that was before I added the tub. So. Now that we have an additional 115 gallons, I might need more, but I do have a few bags down there. So anyway, that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. I guess, yeah, I guess I'll show you guys the whole mixing process. I mean, it's pretty simple. You put salt in the jug, you add some RO water, you mix that stuff up, let it dissolve, and then you just pour it in. But <laughs> yeah, because you know, briefing's complicated, right? So yeah, other than that, system's doing pretty good. I have to change my filter socks per usual. I did go in and clean the tub yesterday. I cleaned the walls of it, so I clogged up the filter socks. Did have Chato for sale, sold a ton of that. Um, probably gonna have to take that off the website. We're out of stock for a little bit, let it grow back. Anyway, yeah, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, guys, so this is a pretty easy process. If you have a funnel, um, I can't find my funnel, so that's fun. I mean, I literally print funnels all day long, but I don't print one this size, so yeah, that'll be on the website soon. Anyways, I can't find the funnel, so we're going to attempt to get all this salt in this one gallon jug without making a huge mess. So, uh, welcome to being fast forwarded with some really crappy uh, royalty free music. I'll see you guys at the end. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I actually, uh, considering everything, that's all I spilled. Not bad. Minus, you know, everything floating in the air right now. But, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, you guys, man, that's a lot of salt. It is. I swear it says for one gallon. This is the one gallon, so. I'm going to go over and uh, let's go ahead and fill it up with some RO water and get shaken. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and turn on the RO. Start purging that line real quick. All right. This just gets all the old water out of the hose. You know, a lot of people ask if I do that or not. So, I'm gonna fill this up. A little bit of a shake. I feel bad for anybody who decided to put water in first and then put the salt in. Um, that'd be feeling bad for myself because I've done it before. Mainly because I can't read the directions. Let me grab the cap. Give it a shake. All right. Let's just get the salt off the bottom. All right, so we got a little bit left to fill up. Need some shaking room though. And yeah, by the way, if you don't have your RO system 
on a switch. Yeah, I mean, you're missing out, man. It's really nice. All right, so I'm just going to run around the house, shake this for about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, so while we're waiting on the magnesium to dissolve, let's go ahead and get in here and uh, make that funnel real quick because I'm not doing that again. All right, so let's start with the head or the bottom. I guess you can call it that. Uh, we're going to do like 27 millimeters. Ooh, let's go to extrude that up a little bit. We're going to make it uh, about 10. How freaking far I want to go? Let's just do let's just do 20 for now. All right, we'll do an offset plane here. Mm -hmm. How tall I want this thing to be. I got my little calipers over here. So we'll do 20 deep in there. That should work just fine. Yeah, I might go a little bit more, but uh, we want it to be this is funnel style. So we'll go up. Uh, we'll go up 100 millimeters. All right. So I am gonna make this a little bit bigger. We'll go up another. We'll go to 30 just because. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and do the top. And how wide do we want it to be? What seems like a good width, you guys think, for a funnel? Maybe, because uh, I'm spilling stuff all the time, maybe 120 millimeters? I'll do 120. All right, we'll extrude that. We'll go up. Yeah, that works, 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the loft here. The lofty one. Two. Now let's make it look somewhat pretty here. Well, we can do the top first. Uh, let's do this. Do, do, do. We're going to make a shell. And we're going to make it two millimeters. Let's do two millimeters. That seems pretty good. Let's screw that down. I know I'm talking to myself, but uh, yeah, welcome to, the, welcome to the party. Okay, so that gives us a little basic funnel. I guess that looks all right. Let's make it look decent. Or at least better. Mm, I think I kind of want it to be wider, maybe. I mean, it's 120 millimeters. I mean, if you're mess, if you're making a mess of that, then does it look pretty? Oh, it's so funnily. All right, so <laughs> let's print this. There we go. Let's print it. Looks good. It looks decent. I'll probably change it, but let's see what it looks like on the printer bed. Definitely not printing like that. We gotta rotate. All right, bam. 100% fill, ah, no. Brim, yes. PLA, yes. Oh, look how funnily that is. <laughs> so yeah, there's our funnel and I'll use it someday. I'm thinking maybe I might keep this here keep the uh, the angle but I think it still will fit I mean I still think that would fit okay in the jug I, I just don't want it to fall out I don't know maybe I'll make some adjustments but uh, yeah so there's a funnel anyway back to magnesium video okay so the magnesium has been uh, sitting for about uh, 45 minutes it's dissolved I don't really see any particles uh, good to go one last look at the starting numbers here uh, 792 elk uh, 321 cal and 1252 mag so my plan is just to uh, dump this whole damn thing into the sump and we'll test in about an hour. So uh, I usually, if I'm doing small adjustments, I might go from you know from tank to tank, but because I'm doing so much, I just dump it into the sump and these two pumps will uh, you know send it all over. So yeah, I'm just gonna dump this gallon in. What's up, fish? And uh, yeah, so I'll give it about an hour, hour and a half, and then hit the trident. I manually start it and uh, what are we at 11 so at 12 I'll go ahead and uh, have it start and uh, see where we're at so we'll be right back with that all right guys so we're back it's been about 24 hours since I dosed that one gallon of magnesium let's go to check out the trident and see where we're at all right as you can see the magnesium went up to 1331 I'm like poking over here not paying attention <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, so we went up about 100 ppm, which isn't too bad for one gallon. Like I mentioned before, uh, there was a good chance that one gallon might not be enough. So I actually went ahead and uh, yeah, took this time to make the funnel that I actually showed you guys in the uh, Fusion 360. So I'm going to make up another gallon of this and then dump in probably half to three quarters of it and probably wait a few more hours, maybe to this afternoon, and then... Uh, test again see where we're at and then see what other changes we have to make so uh let's go and get started 
Alrighty, so let's go ahead and make this uh, second batch of magnesium. Now, I will be doing a live, um, I call it frag and chill, but we're not going to be making frags. We're going to be making fish food, so we're going to call it making fish food and chill. I'll be doing that later in the week, maybe Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's go to make this. So, a new funnel. Looks pretty good. Is it on camera? Kind of. Mm, there we go. Alright. No editing here. I was playing. You guys should see all the stuff that I cut out of these videos. Ooh, funnily. I don't know. I like that word. I don't know. I'm assuming that breathing in all this white dust is probably not good for you. So, let's see. It's, just, it's going down. Pocket. Oh, it's going. I don't know. It's something about watching this. I really enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it too. <laughs> go, 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 go. You can do it, funnel. I have faith in you. Shiv Hicks has lost his mind. These are the things, and this is the kind of content I bring you guys here on this channel. I know I've evolved a lot over the last, what, four years, five years? This is the kind of stuff that you're not going to find anywhere else. <laughs> Watching BRS uh, Magnesium Mix go down a funnel. Oh yeah, there we go. Maybe we should put some nice music in the background. But we're almost out, so... You know, if you guys want to, if you want to speed up the process, you just grab like a, one of these little things and kind of speeds it up a little bit. A little fun fact, we got a little bit more. Enough of that close-up action. Half this damn video is just me pouring <laughs> the mix into the jug. Anyways, so yeah, the funnel works. To be expected. I mean, it's a funnel. So, already, I'm gonna skip the whole filling this thing up on camera, and uh, we'll come back once it's completely mixed up. All right, so the mixture is ready to go. Starting numbers: 1331. Gonna be shooting for 1400, 1410, something like that. So, we're gonna do three quarters, roughly. We'll see. Half, three quarters. Let's go see. Ooh, camera. Same thing, gonna put it in the main chamber here. What is half? That's uh, kinda half, let's do more. All right, that looks good. Okay guys, so I'll see you in a few hours. We'll run the Trident manually, manually, and uh, yeah, we'll see where we're at, be right back. Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. So. I went ahead and uh, tested the magnesium about three hours ago, and I got about 1380, and we were shooting for a little over 1400. So I went ahead and dosed the other half of that one gallon jug, and right now we are sitting at 1416. So that's pretty good. So that's about the range I want, anywhere between 1350 and 1450, and you know 1460 is uh, perfect. So uh, let's go ahead and look at what numbers we had yesterday. So let's just kind of see how the difference has. So I did get a little, I get a little dip in the evenings um, or actually at midnight when it comes to my calcium and alkalinity. But uh, we started dosing yesterday around 1360 or sorry, yeah, 13 or 360 for the calcium. So that hasn't really changed much. It's been pretty consistent throughout that. Currently uh, 1361. Um, now for the alkalinity, again, stays pretty stable, but as you can see, magnesium uh, definitely went up. We started at, uh, yeah, 1252 and worked our way up. Now, 
Of course, it's probably going to take a couple days for the tank to completely adjust. Uh, I do anticipate the alkalinity and the calcium to go up a little bit, especially the calcium. I find that once we get enough magnesium in there over the next couple days, it should be back up to 400 uh, relatively quickly. So, yeah, when magnesium starts dropping out of the water column or it gets really low, you find that your numbers will be off when it comes to alkalinity and calcium. Uh, I do recommend if, if, you are, if you are using a Trident, you should probably test with Hannah's just in case. Um, I did double check on my Hannah's and everything is uh, pretty pretty close to this. Nothing crazy, nothing to be really worried about. I think I 8.1 on my alkalinity, so it's, it's not that bad. But I do recommend don't just rely on the Trident. Even if you're calibrating it, you should use the uh, you know, Hannah's or something like that. So, yeah, that's about it. Now, before I let you guys go, uh, real quick, I'm going to show you guys something that I can do videos on. Uh, this year I'm doing some different stuff. So... We're gonna be starting some hydroponics stuff here. Um, now, this is some space I had where the old frag tanks were. I'm just knocking stuff over here. Uh, these two uh, five gallon jugs are gonna be a tomato and cucumber, um, or a pickling cucumber. So these are actually gonna go outside. Uh, these hydroponic jugs, they're good to go. Now I am gonna be using these two um, containers in here with air stone. So we are doing different tests and they're gonna be a bunch of different greens and then we're going to be setting up some microgreen trays over here. So uh, stay tuned for all that. If you are interested, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section. I can make some videos or just follow me on Instagram and all that stuff will be up there against your will. So <laughs> that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Everything is rocking, starting to fill out some more grow out stuff and everything is doing great. Printers are probably still, they're still down, but we're working on it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. Peace.